Good morning everyone. It is currently 5 a.m. and today I will be taking you through my day. Now before I go through the riveting details of my life, this is a language learning channel and I want to show how I fit Chinese into my real life. I've been using Clockify to track my study hours and dang, I've already spent 543 hours studying Chinese since March. So I'll go to last week's data and here I've color coded the active study in this salmon color, Anki in this light pink color, and passive studying in this in-between blush millennial pink like color and yes I know it is a lot of pink. So in total I've spent a little over 30 hours in active studying. 22 hours in passive studying and 6 hours of Anki studying for a total of almost 59 hours. <laughs> That's a full-time job, except I'm not getting a salary or overtime pay. But since I'm doing a day in my life, we'll focus on a single day of study. Why don't we take a closer look at Monday, May 3rd. The first thing that I'm gonna do is wash up and get ready. I won't take you along for that journey, but I'll be back once I... Words, I'll be back once I finish. <laughs> that I have some coffee in my system, I'm going to start off my morning doing some Anki reps. I prefer to do my um, SRS flashcards in the morning because it just primes my brain to be more receptive to anything that I learn in my active learning afterwards when I read my textbooks or anything that I listen to during the day with my active and passive listening time at work or on my commute. So I have Anki pulled up right here and now I'm just gonna go through my deck. I just started HSK 5 and going through the first chapter was not great. So instead of doing two chapters a week like I did with um, HSK 4, I'll probably just do one chapter a week. This typically takes me anywhere between one hour to two hours depending on how difficult the passage is for the day. Now that I'm done with my active studying for the day, I'm going to get ready for work. <laughs> this is my outfit for the day. We got a nice plaid blazer, some pleated white shorts, and a white top as well. So if you've ever worked in a lab, you'll know that this is not proper lab attire, but I am filming on a Saturday, and it's one of the few nice days in the transition from winter to spring, so, this is what I'm wearing. So around 9 or 10 a.m. I usually have my commute to work and while I'm commuting I like to just get immersed in the language any way that I can whether that be listening to audiobooks or writing down some characters. So I am usually at work by this point but I can't really bring you to my lab so we'll just have to pretend. But when I'm doing work where I don't need to focus too much or when I'm not conversing with coworkers, what I like to do is put on a podcast in the background. By the end of the day I end up getting two to three hours of passive immersions as well. After work, I just do whatever I want. Since I got the majority of my active studying in the morning, got my passive studying during the workday, 
I can do more studying if I wanted to, watch a TV show or listen to podcasts or read some more books, or I can hang out with friends or do another hobby or edit videos because ugh, it takes me so long to edit. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that for the rest of the evening, probably get some editing done, making some of the animations, and call it a night. I hope you enjoyed this brief walk through my day and seeing how I actually fit eight hours of studying in a very busy life with a full-time job, hobbies, friends, and making these videos. I hope it can motivate many of you to find those little moments in your day where you can fit learning, whether that be languages or coding or any other thing that you're interested in doing. Learning is always possible and it's just a matter of finding what you want to learn and when you want to do it. I hope everyone has a lovely day, a lovely evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you next time.